Hello and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Today we will look at a beer, uh, the newest beer from what purports to be the oldest craft brewery in Japan, and that is Echigo Beer. And we're going to look at this new beer from them, which is called Echigo White Ale with Lemon and Ginger. So Echigo uh, was founded in 1994, and so they claim to be uh, uh, Japan's first microbrewer, and uh, they probably are uh, at that time, and uh, they, I think there were no others that I knew of, uh, certainly, at that time, uh, and I was here at that time. And uh, they also did a lot of contract brewing, uh, but I think primarily now they make their own beers. And the founder uh, of Ichigo worked as a stage actor as a young man and in the 1970s and 80s he traveled throughout Europe and he uh, met a German woman and uh, he was impressed uh, she uh, apparently took him around to you know out and about in Germany and he was quite impressed with the German beer scene and German culture as well so uh, his parents uh, as luck would have it, his parents had a sake brewery, and he decided he was going to brew beer there. Uh, and uh, started out with uh, primarily German styles, and now makes many, many different types of beers. Uh, and great beer, I think there were 69 beers, probably more than that now. Um, uh, untapped, there were uh, 77 or so when I checked last. Um, and so the cans used to see, as he was a stage actor and impressed by uh, working in the theater, the cans used to say, let's be romantic, act on stage. And uh, they often had a picture, of, even you can find cans now that do of a dancer, a uh, singer, a jazz musician. Uh, but this series, this series here is uh, the series where they use these bears as their uh, kind of mascots. And let's take a quick look at this beer here. Again, it's called Ichigo White Ale with Lemon and Ginger or Lemon Jinja Rakuen Ale. And Rakuen here means something like paradise. And uh, you see the uh, bears uh, kind of uh, riding through the desert and regaining their strength with a nice glass of beer. And red beer, there was only one rating for this beer, uh, and it was at 3.3. Untapped, there were 74 ratings when I checked, and the average was just about the same, 3.31. It's a five percenter, and classified as a flavored fruit beer. Uh, released in uh, July 21st, 2023, this year. And uh, on their website, they state that the uh, revisions of the liquor tax law, which are ongoing, uh, the first one was in 2018, and uh, we are going to have another one in October of this year, 2023, and it will continue. And the idea is they're going to equalize uh, the tax rate for different types of alcohol. And uh, it, in 2018, uh, it increased the number of secondary ingredients that were allowed into beer. Uh, so in this case, say lemon and ginger. Uh, previously, if you put something like lemon and ginger, it would have to be classified as hapo shu. And many brewers did put things in to try to uh, get a lower tax rate. Well, in any case, the ingredients for this are wheat malt uh, from France, barley malt, hops, and more wheat, I, I guess uh, uh, unmalted wheat, lemon peel, and ginger. And this one costs 328 yen, uh, where I bought it, and that would translate to two dollars and twenty six cents US and two point zero seven euros so not a terribly expensive beer five percent alcohol I don't know the IBUs shall we give this one a go it's a hot hot day today uh, it's getting a little cooler I just came in from a walk uh, but I was feeling the heat a little bit okay so this is Somewhat hazy, not quite cloudy. Somewhat hazy, medium straw. I can see a little bit of carbonation rising. It has a very nice fat finger of foam. Okay. All right, well, as a white ale, right away I get the ginger. 
something citrusy as well, which of course could be the lemon. Smells pleasant. So a white ale usually, uh, at least as they're made in Belgium, uh, have uh, coriander and orange peel. This one has lemon peel and ginger. Okay, get the ginger right away. Get some some citrus for sure. This is pleasant, light, rather refreshing. A modicum of bitterness in the finish. Yeah, not bad. Even for someone like me, uh, who doesn't like ginger very much, uh, but it comes off quite well here. I think they did a good job of blending the citrus and ginger elements into this beer. Uh, once again, it's called uh, Ichigo White Ale with Lemon and Ginger, a flavored fruit beer at 5%. And you can find this in a lot of stores uh, throughout Japan. Uh, uh, I found it in a Yamaya store. You may want to go there to find this beer. Okay, and check out some of their other beers. I do have a playlist of Ichigo beers. You can check that out as well. Okay, that is it for today. Please do take care. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.